You are now watching the best show in the universe. It is called The Anthony Rogers Show. You probably wish that this was your show, but it is not your show. It is The Anthony Rogers Show. Tell everyone you know to watch this show. Enjoy. Welcome back to the greatest show in the universe. Uh, today we have a very big guest, uh, recently in the news with um, a lot of stuff going on, like uh, apparently uh, Lana Wells, a uh, porn star. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing as good as I can be. How have you been? <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, so uh, what, uh, what started this whole thing? Like, what's this whole, like you're everywhere right now. It's crazy. Um, oh, geez. Yeah, it really is crazy because I was shocked waking up. I think it was yesterday morning and it just been everywhere. Um, as everybody knows, you know, I'm an adult entertainer. I do porn on the internet and I do, you know, pornography shoots and stuff like that. And um, I'm part of the APAG union, which protects sex worker rights and they're fighting for us and everything else. And um, I messaged them. I messaged, oh, geez, like the night that I got fired. I got fired that morning and it took me forever to decide if I was going to message to say what I could get done about it because we live in a small town what happened to your so what happened to your job start from there like so uh, for the listeners or viewers um like you were fired from you're fired from your job or like where'd you work and like what happened how'd they find out like um well i went in for my interview because okay you know with covid the shoots are being shut down you know nobody wants to be at risk or put anybody at risk so i was like okay i'm gonna get a job around where i live at to kind of you know make up for lost wages and um my husband was like okay well I'm I'm cool with that because he has a job too and he knows how I am I'm like very independent I want my own money and my own shit so I go in and I well I filled out an application for Taco Bell and I called and they were like okay well yeah what are you doing come in for an interview I went in for the interview and I told them, I was up front with them about it. I was like, hey, look, um, I do pornography on the side. I do graphic scenes and stuff like that. Is there any discrimination law? Is this going to be cool? Like, are y'all going to be okay with this? That was one of my big questions. And I was assured by the manager, the HR, oh, yeah, we're okay with it. What you do in your personal time is your personal time. And living in a small town everybody knows everybody's business that's why that right off the bat i asked hey look is this going to be a problem so you told them that's interesting like uh and then like um uh, then at first it was not did it become a problem later i'm assuming is that where this <laughs> uh i guess it became a problem when i was spotted working the drive through because that's where I was at the whole entire time. I was either working the drive through or I was doing the truck, putting stuff up. And it wasn't a problem until I guess some cranky lady decided she wanted to come to the drive through and see me. And then she called. It was like a week. I had the job for probably a week and a half. I got fired on the 13th. That's crazy. Like, so, so like just for someone complaining that you did porn basically that was that like their, that was that their complaint or was it like another complaint like I, all i was told was okay i was up i was getting dressed i was in the bathroom you know doing hair and makeup and I, my phone started ringing and i thought you know it was them like hey get here now because they had the habit of doing that and um I answered the phone and I was like, you know, hey, I'm fixing to be on my way. It was like 7.25, 7.30 that morning. I don't have to fucking it until 8. And my manager tells me, look, I'm sorry. You know, we've had complaints um, against you working here, blah, blah, blah. And, well, first she said, we have to let you go. And I said, okay, why am I getting fired for one? Because I'm there all the time when you need me. I stay over. I don't take lunch breaks. I don't, you know, do shit. Like, I'm constantly there doing something. And then she decided to tell me. Somebody decided to complain about my porn. 
And I was like, hold on, wait a minute. You said it was okay. You know, that's why I asked because small towns, everybody knows everybody's business. I asked you first. You said it was all right. Well, we think it would just be better for the company to let you go. That's crazy. Yeah. They couldn't have waited until I got there and talked to me face to face. They had to take it like the douche way out and call me. Yeah, that is weird. Are you going to ever eat at Taco Bell again? <laughs> Probably not. Like, I have an authentic Mexican restaurant here. <laughs> no. I feel like an asshole because I had I had three um I had three Taco Supremes earlier today and I feel I feel like I I feel like I, I I'm and not no no connection I was just like I just wanted some fucking Taco Bell like, I, I love it. Okay, well I'm gonna say this. Um, obviously they are a franchise, but the Taco Bell here is owned by KMAC. Which and- what city are you in again? Newport, Arkansas. Okay, so fuck the Taco Bell in Newport, Arkansas. I'll never eat yeah. there. Fuck that one. Like, if you ever come um, here, don't don't fucking eat there. But no, I got some authentic Mexican food, like you're saying. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Fuck Taco Bell. Bad Taco Bell. Food restaurants here. So I mean, if you want actual good tacos, go somewhere else. <laughs> you should make a you should make a video tell, like, explaining to people in your town to eat there instead of Taco Bell. You should like make a boycott. Like, make it where no one goes to that Taco Bell again. This is probably a good thing for you. So you blew up, I guess. Like, uh, you're in like fucking like if I Google your story you're in you're in a shit ton of fucking headlines you're in like uh so you're in tmz we we're talking about before recording um so uh what what they, you said they fucked up the story oh god they they straight pissed me off and i've reached out to them but you know tmz is tmz they were saying that a disgruntled um employee which you know a co-worker is the one that had said something and turned me in and i had i, I for the record, at this time, I had only told, like, my story to the Daily Beast tomorrow, and I did uh, an adult podcast, and this comes out, and I'm like, no, man, like, my coworker actually talked to Marlo from the Daily Beast and verified everything that was going on. <laughs> That's crazy. And That's I'm like, crazy. what the fuck? So, uh, wh- how did you get into porn, I guess? Like, a classic porn story question. Ooh, this is going to be odd. Um, since <laughs> Arkansas has shitty walls, I, well, I was started stripping in my 20s, went ahead, faded out of that, you know. And um, I got married, and we had personal homemade videos, like, who doesn't have homemade videos these days, I guess. <laughs> and my shit got stolen. And my nudes and my videos got passed around everywhere, and it was bad. Like, I totally, like, I think I cried for three days. I was like, this is horrible. This is embarrassing. Um, And I eventually had to call the cops about it because it was getting sent to my stepkids were in school. It was getting sent to their friends, which was minors. So I called the cops. And um, they come out, and they're like, well, there's nothing we can do about it because it's on the Internet. We can't trace it down. So I said, um, you know what, I'm just going to upload this shit myself, get back at them, you know. I mean, you can't really hurt me by uploading my porn if I'm uploading my porn myself. Yeah, you may as well make money off it, right, at that point, I guess. Like, you already had the free marketing. At that point, I was was like, whatever, what's done is done, and that was in 2017. (laughs) So is this, like, OnlyFans or Pornhub, or, like, we're going (laughs) to – we're going to have true – I did not know about OnlyFans at the time. Like, I know about, you know, X and XX and Pornhub and stuff like that. So I went straight to Pornhub and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to sign up for the model program. So is this like the be- would this be end up being a good thing for your career, you think, like with all the uh, publicity coming from this? There has um, been a lot of people reach out and, you know, offer, you know, hey, you can shoot with us whenever we open back up. And I, my OnlyFans is blowing up like crazy right now. And my Pornhub is blowing up like crazy. But honestly, I mean, I don't want fame out of it. I don't want the money out of it. I just want to bring awareness to like, hey, don't discriminate against sex workers. We're people too. We have lives. 
No. Yeah. I'll take your money then if you don't want any money. You get any, any money you get from this. <laughs> I'm just, I donated over to you. Yeah. Like, I, I, I need it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this beard. I'm homeless. So I, I need the money more. Um, but I was fucking around. No, that's, that's an interesting story. Yeah, I was, uh, I, I was talking, I was at a, uh, another porn star on earlier and, and like she told me this story like a week ago or two and I was just like, or no, no, like just recently, probably a day or two ago and I looked it up. I'm like, I, I just reached out immediately. I'm like, I have to, I have to talk. This seemed interesting. Like uh, I, I love Taco Bell. So it, it broke my heart that they made a bad decision. <laughs> it broke, man, it broke my heart too because the nacho fries just came back out. Those are fire. And- Dude, they take the potatoes away and then I get fired. Really? It's fucked up. But it probably helps you out. I think this pull you might help you. I you probably your searches are probably going up and stuff. Like if you, uh on whatever sites you're on, they're probably blowing up right now. Yeah. The only thing I have a problem with now is like I said, since I do live in a small town and I mean, this is ran by churches. <laughs> but yeah, Arkansas. For, you're in the Bible belt for sure. I'm in Bible belt majorly. Um I've had people dox me that I thought were my friends, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, they were like, put out my government name, my husband's government name, like places of employment. All they've done it all. Um, yeah, it's I've had that, and then I've had church people tell me I'm gonna burn in hell, and pretty much I I should be, you know, burned at the stake, like I'm a witch, or you know, grab your Torch and pitchforks, not Shrek. That's crazy. Just like, just like Jesus said, kill people you don't like. <laughs> Apparently, man. Like, just like the Bible said. No, that's crazy, though. I mean, like, um, are you from Arkansas originally? I guess. Uh, yes, actually, I am. Um, I moved out of Arkansas, and I was living in Miami, Florida, for a little bit because I have family there. And then I came back, and I. Before I got married, I was not living anywhere around this county. And then I got married, and then it's like, wow, what is wrong with people? How long have you been married? Uh, eight years in March. What does you think about you doing porn? Are you pro or against her? Uh, <laughs> when I first started um he hated it like he didn't talk to me for three days and it's so awkward to live in a house um and not talk to the person there but now he's like he's helpful um he actually talked to marlo as well whenever i did the you know interview because marlo's like oh can he answer some questions and he called him right up and he was like hey man you know what's going on and he's supporting me. He's supporting all of this. And when I woke up and I told him I was everywhere, he was like, okay, so are you going to be like one of those people that go viral and decide you have to drop a shitty rap CD? And I was like, oh. <laughs> that's funny. No. That's but yeah, funny. he's very supportive like now. And my family is supportive. Um, I called and told them after my first interview, like, hey, look, this is what's going on. Kind of try to do damage control before it hit. So, yeah. It's crazy. So, it sounds like you had a busy uh, week. Or when did this happen? Like, Oh, God. I was fired on the 13th of this month. Nice. And I talked to Lana Evans, like, late that night, early the next morning. And I was like, look, what can I get done about this? Because we have a law here where your employer can fire you for anything and don't even have to tell you, and it's legal. And I was like, you know, this is bullshit. What can I get done? And that's when she was like, look, we're fixing the, you know, we need to go viral. You need to tell your story and get it out there. And I was like, okay, so the next, the day after that, so I'm thinking it was the 15th, I had talked to Marlo. That's crazy. That's, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely blew up. Yeah, I, like, I, like I, uh, yeah, my, someone was telling me earlier, it was just crazy on Twitter. And I'm like, I have to, t- I have to, I had to reach out like, immediately. I'm like, I'm like, this is a crazy story. I've never heard this. Like, um, like There's well, a Twitter page right now. I don't know who made it, but they followed me and it's, um, the fight between Lana Wells and Taco Bell. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. And they're sharing, like, they're retweeting everything. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Okay, mm -hmm. like, just have fun at my expense. Thanks. Yeah, we well, have to realize, I think, though, if anyone's talk, talking shit, it's all projections. It's, like, how they feel about themselves, their deepest insecurities. And, like, anytime anyone's, like, uh, anytime anyone's, like, in, in, like, an article or, like, in, in, they just, like, throw rocks at them. It's all, it's all, like, their own insecurities and shit. It's all, like, yeah, how they do themselves. Like, they're fine with it. And then all of a sudden it becomes, like, this big thing. And they're, like, oh, no, fuck you. And, yeah, that's what I'm getting right now. That's why I said, you know, they were, like, the people that were – doxing me on their facebook um one and i'm gonna put this out there one is my husband's ex-girlfriend her son got a hold of me and apologized um the other one i thought we were really good friends and then another girl was like you know oh well i grew up with him we're cool and this and another okay well if you're cool quit shitting on this fucking wife on facebook you know yeah and nobody had a problem with anything. And then this happened, and they're like, well, we do live in a Bible Belt. I'm like, yeah, we do. But shit has to change, or this is going to continue to happen. That is crazy. So what's your plan now? Where are you trying to work? You have job offers coming in or anything? like? Uh... I'm not fucking doing any type of vanilla work. Again, I'm not even fixing to go try. I'm going to work on my sites. Um, try to what i'm gonna do honestly is work on my sites and join up with apac union to try to stop the discrimination against sex workers that's going to be one of my main focuses awesome. i have actually i've petitioned the um governor of arkansas to try to get laws changed that's cool. Um, where can people find you on social media and stuff before we get out of here? Like, uh, any links you want to throw out to people or like where this or whatever? Oh, shit. I just wanted to like, thank you everybody that has shown support and for the kind messages and the retweets and the boycott Taco Bell. Like you don't have to boycott Taco Bell. Um, just boycott the one here because they're owned by different people <laughs> that, I mean, I'm not that crappy of a person. But, um, like, I'm shutting my Facebook down tonight because of everything that's going on over there. So I'll only have my Twitter, which is lana 87 X. My OnlyFans, of course, OnlyFans forward slash lana 87 X. And then I have my AVN stars, which is stars.avn.com forward slash lana 87 X. And there are the voting links for this well yeah for the avian awards show is is on there because that's this saturday watch us make your food up fresh at taco bell taco bell and you feel your taste